Hi, my name is Veronica Barker Barzell. I grew up mostly overseas, though I was was born in Washington, D.C. I spent my growing up years in southern Italy and then early 20s in Japan. I got into printmaking when I kind of when I first moved back into this area. I just really fell in love with the process and also how my images look in printmaking. It seemed to translate better than in my painting. I mostly do relief um, on linoleum, some wood block, but I also really enjoy etching. It kind of depends on what image I want to make. But I really, I really enjoy the carving part. Like for me, my happy place is, is kind of like meditating over carving the block. And that, you know, 12 hours, five hours, whatever, it's like I'm super happy and time doesn't matter. So traditionally printmaking is known as like the black arts. It's usually either black ink or pigment that is pretty dark. Um, but coming from painting, I've always loved color. So I don't see myself as a traditional printmaker. I, I see myself more as liking to play with printmaking and adding. So there's some things that are, I do just either, you know, one color or one tone, but I like to play with different colors. And so most of my additions tend to be varied additions. It's, it's hard for me to just stick to one color. And I love, I love blues, um, greens. Those are my comfort zones. So when I want to challenge myself, I'll, I'll go into reds and yellows and it, it puts me in a really strange energy feel. <laughs> my um, undergrad was in English literature and I have always loved fairy tales and fantasy kind of books more in the, more in the classic realm. And um, my mom coming from Eastern Europe, there was a lot of more Eastern stories. So like you'd have the Firebird, which is very similar to the Phoenix, except it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't re necessarily be reborn out of the flames, but it has the same kind of base where you have the greed of man, right? And the desire, you're not just happy with one feather. So the idea with this show was to take my love of literature and stories and even stories that may not have been told yet and try to put it down on paper. I wanted to bring curiosity to the public, draw people into what's, what's really going on here, kind of lost in the patterns. I've always been fascinated with kind of Crimea type characters, like creatures that are a mixture of man and animal or animals and fish. And I think a lot of that has to do with growing up in places like southern Italy where there's a lot of ornamentation so you you're passing by a building and there's like statues of figures coming out of the buildings right you know there's no need for it it's not going to structurally there's no need but there's this beauty Japan also influenced me one thing that I I loved about Japan was majority of the people I met were very spiritual people and there was always this feeling that the like the kami the spirits were watching you you know, good and bad. I kind of miss that, but I still feel very connected to that feeling that something is watching me and possibly protecting me, and, you know, making my journey less alone in a sense. Some of the things that I have created was actually um, inspired by one of my students. Her daughter it was a, or is a researcher and works with rats quite a bit in the labs. And so we were, kind of talking about the creatures that I've created, like the mer chicken, and she asked if I m ever made a mer rat. So right away when she asked me that, I just had this image of these two mer rats kind of dancing in the water. And I was like, all right, I, I think I can make this happen. I definitely like to try to learn from my students as well. Queen's Invitation is from Alice in Wonderland. Um, there's a scene in, in the book where the queen is inviting the duchess. You have the two footmen, one's receiving the invitation. So one footman's like a, a frog and the other one's a fish. And throughout the book, there's, there's a mouse that keeps on showing up. 
and even though the mouse wasn't necessarily in that scene, I kind of pictured the mouse being there. So there's, um, there's a little mouse with a top hat in the back, kind of on the side, watching the invitation being given to the uh, Duchess's footman. I think the, the theme would be the journey. I don't know if that's quite the right word for it. But in all, in all the fairy tales, and even in mythology, there's always this thing that you have to do, the main character has to accomplish in order to get to the next level. And so with my art, it's more just um, kind of a snapshot of that moment of the journey, not necessarily the entire story, um, but just a just a peek into what's going on. There's so much like sadness, and everyone has their own personal story, and and I, I think we tend to get wrapped up in in that. And so I I want to give people a, a place that they can escape and be happy just for a moment, you know, or forever, you know. It's that's that's the main I think purpose. I feel like my art is a little bit healing too. At least that's what I hope. For me it's healing. So I hope it's I hope it does that for others too.